Hello everyone. How are you today? CCNA Module 3. IP Connectivity. We can start. IP connectivity IP addresses may go largely unseen, but they're essential to our everyday online activity. IP networks allow devices to communicate. 3.1 Interpret the components of routing table A routing protocol code routing is the process of moving packets across a network from one host to another host by using the best path from the router table. In other words, it may also be defined as the process of selecting a specific path for a traffic in a network or across multiple networks. It is performed by network layer devices in order to deliver the packet by choosing an optimal path from one network to another network. B prefix network address 30, NetMISC 255.255.255.252 has four addresses, out of which only two are usable to address real hosts, the first is the network address, the last is the broadcast. For instance, within 198.51.100.1230 only 198.51.100.13 and .14 are usable, while .12 is the network address and .15 is the broadcast. See network mask netmasks, or subnet masks, are of shorthand for referring to ranges of consecutive IP addresses in the Internet Protocol. They used for defining networking rules in e.g. routers and firewalls. D next hop next hop is a routing term that refers to the next closest router a packet can go through. The next hop is among the series of routers that are connected together in a network and is the next possible destination for a data packet. More specifically, next hop is an IP address entry in a router's routing table, which specifies the next closest most optimal router in its routing path. Every single router maintains its routing table with a next hop address, which is calculated based on the routing protocol used in its associated metric. The next hop may also be referred to as the next optimal router. E administrative distance administrative distance is the feature that routers use in order to select the best path when there are two or more different routes to the same destination from two different routing protocols. Administrative distance defines the reliability of a routing protocol. F metric A routing metric is a unit calculated by a routing algorithm for selecting or rejecting a routing path for transferring data traffic. A routing metric is calculated by routing algorithms when determining the optimal route for sending network traffic. Metrics are assigned to each different route available in the routing table and are calculated using many different techniques and methods based on the routing algorithms in use. Some of the parameters used for calculating a routing metric are as follows, hop count path reliability path speed load bandwidth latency maximum transmission unit e gateway of last resort gateway of last resort is a generic term which describes the capability of an host device to send all the three lira traffic, not otherwise specified, to some destination. IP default gateway is the Cisco way to enable last resort gateway on a device without IP routing enabled IP route 0.0.0.0.0.0.0 is the same for a device with IP routing enabled. 3.2 Determine how a router makes a forwarding decision by default A longest match specify the static route on the device to resolve and determine the packet's next hop interface using the longest match routing rule, most specific entry, sometimes referred to as the longest prefix match or maximum prefix length match. The longest match routing rule is an algorithm used by IP routers to select an entry from a routing table. The router uses the longest prefix match to determine the address, outbound, interface and the address of the next device to which to send a packet. Typically, the static route prefers the directly connected subnet route for resolving the next hop, rather than performing a longest prefix match with any other available routes. The router implements the longest match routing rule as follows, the router receives a packet. While processing the header, the router compares the destination IP address, bit by bit, with the entries in the routing table. The entry that has the longest number of network bits that match the IP destination address is always the best match or best path, as shown in the below example. Longest match example, the router receives a packet with a destination IP address of 192.168.1.33.
The routing table contains the following possible matches, 192.168.1.3228.192.168.1.0.24192.168.0.016 B Administrative distance Administrative distance is the feature that routers use in order to select the best path when there are two or more different routes to the same destination from two different routing protocols. Administrative distance defines the reliability of a routing protocol. See routing protocol metric A routing metric is a unit calculated by a routing algorithm for selecting or rejecting a routing path for transferring data traffic. 3.3 configure and verify IPv4 and IPv6 static routing a default route the default route is a route that a router uses to forward an incoming packet when no other route is available for that packet in the routing table. Routers use the routing table to make the forwarding decision B network route A default route is the route that takes effect when no other route is available for an IP destination address. If a packet is received on a routing device, the device first checks to see if the IP destination address is on one of the device's local subnets. See host route the routing process that occurs when a host computer on a network forwards a packet to a destination host on the network. This is different from router routing which is what happens when a router receives a packet that needs to be forwarded to a destination host. Defloating static static routes have a very low administrative distance of 1, this means that your router will prefer a static route over any routes that were learned through a dynamic routing protocol. If we want to use a static route as a backup route, we'll have to change its administrative distance. This is called a floating static route. In this lesson, I'll show you how to do this. We will use the following topology for this, 3.4 configure and verify single area OSPF v2 to make OSPF more efficient and scalable, OSPF supports hierarchical routing using areas. An OSPF area is a group of routers that share the same link state information in their LSDBs. OSPF can be implemented in one of two ways, single area OSPF, in figure 1, all routers are in one area called the backbone area, Area 0. Multi-area OSPF, in Figure 2, OSPF is implemented using multiple areas, in a hierarchical fashion. All areas must connect to the backbone area, Area 0. Routers interconnecting the areas are referred to as Area Border Routers, ABR. A neighbor adjacencies OSPF adjacency is formed that when selected neighbors and allows them to exchange routing information. So, two routers must first be neighbors, only then they can become adjacent. Two routers become adjacent if, at least one of them is DR or BDR, on multi-access type networks, B point to point in this activity, you will activate OSPF routing using network statements and wildcard masks configuring OSPF routing on interfaces, and by using network statements quad zero masks. In addition, you will configure explicit router IDs and passive interfaces. See broadcast, DRBDR selection, OSPF uses a DR, designated router, and BDR, backup designated router, on each multi-access network. A multi-access network is a segment, where we have more than two routers. OSPF figures this out by looking at the interface type. For example, an Ethernet interface is considered a multi-access network, and a serial interface is considered a point-to-point -point interface. D router ID Each router in an OSPF network needs a unique OSPF router ID. The OSPF router ID is used to provide a unique identity to the OSPF router. OSPF router ID is an IPv4 address, 32-bit binary number assigned to each router running the OSPF protocol. OSPF router ID should not be changed after the OSPF process has been started and the OSPF neighborships are established. If you change the OSPF router ID, we need to either reload the iOS or use clear IPOSP process command for OSPF router ID change to take effect. Reloading the iOS or using clear IPOSP process command can cause temporary network outage. 3.5 Describe the purpose of first hop redundancy protocol IP routing redundancy is designed to allow for transparent failover at the first hop IP router. Both HSRP and VRRP enable two or more devices to work together in a group, sharing a single IP address, the virtual IP address. 
the virtual IP address is configured in each end user's workstation as a default gateway address and is cached in the host's address resolution protocol, ARP, cache. In an HSRP or VRRP group, one router is elected to handle all requests sent to the virtual IP address. With HSRP, this is the active router. An HSRP group has one active router, at least one standby router, and perhaps many listening routers. A VRRP group has one active router and one or more backup routers. 